Hey, it's Connor here in front of ESE in Madrid, the Madrid campus of ESE Business School. Last week I ran a uh, webinar on uh, networking and one of the stories that I shared came from a friend of mine that years ago he was very senior in a global company and he had an interview to become one of the senior directors in the company. He'd been there seven years and as part of the interview process, he had a one-to-one -one with the global CEO of the company. And my friend remembers walking in to that meeting. He'd spent a few days preparing, thinking of all the questions that could be asked. He came into the CEO's office. He was served a coffee. He sat down on a sofa. The CEO, over, the CEO came on, sat next to him. The CEO looked him in the eyes and he says, Matt, you've been here seven years. Why don't I know you? And what I want to talk about here is uh, networking and the importance in building a career of uh, a model that, let's get this camera set up, the importance in your career of three things. What my friend shared with me, which is the PI model, P-I-E. And PI stands for Performance Impact Exposure. If you're going to lead a successful career, you need to have these three aspects as part of how you develop the work you do, the skills you have, the projects that you work on, the people that you get to meet. And P-I-E, P is for performance. I is for impact. E is for exposure. Now, Typically, the first 10 years of your career, 20 to 30 years old, the most important thing is performance. Doing the work that you're given as well as you can, getting it done well. And from 20 to 30, that first stage of a career, performing well is the most important thing. Making sure that when you're given a piece of work, you do it to a high level of quality and you get a name for the quality of your performance in work. But at 30, something else becomes important. At 30 to 40, impact. It's not enough to be good at doing work that isn't important. You need to begin to position yourself so that the projects you get access to, the people that you're working with, are projects of high impact that the projects you're working on are affecting the numbers that senior leadership care about. You're not working on peripheral things, you're working on projects that are going to have an impact on things that are important to the business. So 20 to 30 is about doing good work, 30 to 40 it's about making sure that the work you're doing is directed towards the strategic objectives of the company of the area. And performance gets you from 20 to 30 impact starts to get you to the next stage. The third stage, exposure. Uh, so you're performing well at your job, you're working on things that are impacting the strategic objectives of the company. Third is you need exposure to senior leaders. You need that you get face time, that they get to see you around these things. And you, you need to build uh, environments, context in which you get to be seen as connected to this quality work that is having impact on important things. So to build a successful career, it's not enough to just be good at your job. It's not enough just to be good at picking projects that can have an impact. And it's not enough just to seek for exposure. You need all three, performance, impact, and exposure. And if you can get these three together, then you can really lead a successful career where you, the opportunities start to open up to you. There's a book that I recommend very regularly called So Good They Can't Ignore You. It's written by Princeton professor Cal Newport. And in this book, Cal Newport went and interviewed about 500 people. Uh, 500 people all over the age of 50 and all were fulfilled, personally and professionally fulfilled. And Cal's interest was what was the path of their life so that in their 50s, they felt completely fulfilled personally and professionally. And I mean, the book is an interesting read to, to look up what the story is, but 
it, it very much follows this idea that these people from 20 to 30 built what Cal Newport calls a rare and valuable skill. And this is about performance. But becoming good at a rare and valuable skill is what begins to give you leverage. And, and I would recommend reading the book so good they can't ignore you to identify what does he mean by a rare and a valuable skill. But key is rare means not everyone can do it, so you're not a commodity. Valuable means it really does take pain or add achievement to someone else. You can make people's life better with this ability that you are developing. And you know, a rare and valuable skill begins to give you the, the leverage to, to work on impact, getting on the projects that are important, and then begins to give you that exposure that people seek you out by name. So I recommend you find a copy of So Good They Can't Ignore You, and uh, just think about where you are on this path through building a successful, meaningful career. And last week when I was sharing the, the webinar on networking, I talked about a number of factors that are changing the importance of taking control of our own network, of not just leaving to chance the building of relationships that will shape our career and the, the opportunities that are open to us in 5, 10, 15, 20 years, to really become intentional uh, about how you build a career, intentional about which people you need on your personal advisory board, helping you, supporting you, challenging you, uh, helping you see where you can contribute more, helping you see where you need to move out of because it's not strategic. So uh, I'll leave a link to that webinar uh, up here and in the description below. But again, Connor from uh, Madrid here in the garden of ESA Business School. Thank you again for your comments, your likes, your questions, your emails. Keeps me inspired to keep making these videos. Have a good one.